Hello, my name is Henry Reyes. I am an assistant wrestling coach here at Russellville High School. I have one of my wrestlers here. Her name is Caitlin Field. Uh, in Arkansas, girls wrestling is, this is the first year they've ever had it. So this is her first time in our off-season program here. So today we're just gonna uh, work on strength, just a basic strength foundation, building on a squat. So we're gonna start with a leg workout first uh, and foremost. But before we do that, we are gonna start off with a jog but before we start off with our squats here, we're going to start off with a warm-up in the gym. She's going to do a five-minute jog around the court, and then we're going to do uh, five dynamic exercises to warm up her body. All right, you ready? Ready. All right, now she's doing her uh, five-minute jog around the court. I, I, I will elaborate that she is uh, about to be a senior coming up year. Uh, and like I said, this is the first year. Girls wrestling has been sanctioned in the state of Arkansas, so this is her first off-season program, and uh, she is currently 17 years old. And uh, we're just going to do a great leg workout today. Uh, we're going to hit squat. Um, we're hitting lunges and a few other um, just secondary secondary uh, movements just to help support her overall lower body. All right, the first dynamic exercise we are going to do today, right after her job. We're gonna do uh, high knees. High knees, pump your arms high and tight, all the way down half court and back, go. All right, come back. All right, the second dynamic stretch we're gonna do is butt kicks, all the way down and back. Ready, go. Here we're just helping loosen up the, the lower extremities again, hamstrings, quads. We're gonna loosen it all up, build that body temperature up, get that blood flowing. The third dynamic exercise we're gonna do is a skip high knee. Opposite hand, opposite knee. Ready, go. Really explode up. Good, all right, back. All right, the fourth stretch we're gonna do today is Frankenstein. So it's gonna be opposite hand, opposite leg. All the way down and back. Ready, go. Good. Good job, keep that spine straight. Toe tight, toe touch. Good job. Really feel that, that hamstring stretching out. Good job. All right, the fifth and final exercise we're gonna do today is a good morning. Ready? So we're gonna go down all the way. If you can touch the floor, that's fine. If not, it's okay. And you're gonna come all the way up on your tiptoes and reach for the sky. Right, ready? Go. Good, good, good. Great job. Back nice and flat. Good job. Slight bend in the knees. There you go. On the tiptoe, stretch out those calves. All the way to 15. All right, now she just got a pretty good warm up, broke a sweat now. Now her body temperature is nice and ready to, to work out. So the first thing we're gonna do today is squats. So when she does a squat, we're not going to use uh, any back support or any belt. So we want to try to build those back muscles as nice and strong as we can. So during these sets, we're going to have about a two to three minute rest time. Just to give her a little, uh, little break to try to catch her breath back up and uh, get some recovery in there. So what we have on the bar right now is about 60% of her max. And uh, we're going to talk about a little bar placement on uh, her back. So first and foremost, I'll show you real quick. What we're going to do is... I have a nice grip on the bar, all right? I use my thumbs to grasp it, and there's a high, I use a high placement on my, on my uh, shoulders. So as I get under the bar, I like placing it almost on the base of my neck, just right there, with an erect back, nice and straight. And as I come to lift, I go straight up, and I slowly back step to get in a nice square stance. And this is how we'll begin. And as, as you learn to squat more and more, we're going to 
We're always working on our hip hinge, because the hip hinge is the foundation of how to power flip. All right, now that I take a few steps back from the rack, what we're focused on here is the hip hinge. We always want to keep our chest up, so when that first line of motion is going to be back and bending at our hip, our waistline. So as we push back, we're sitting back with our chest nice and high. We're going to come down to a parallel position to the, uh, to the floor, and as soon as we're down, we're going to come right back up. We're going to do sets of eight. All right. All right, so this will be your first set of eight right now. Let's see that nice placement right on the base of the neck. Take a step back. Good job. Good. Good job. Make sure you keep the, the weight in the middle of your feet. Good job. Nice and flat back. Go a little lower if you can. Really activate your glutes. What we want to focus on is pushing, punching your heels to the floor. Nice neutral head. Good job. Good job. Rack it. All right, we are just finishing up with her first break period. Like I said, it's about two to three minutes to really just uh, let her body uh, relax for a second. So she, she just depleted it um, while exercising. This is an anaerobic activity. So really just to build up her ATP again and uh, just uh, get enough energy to hit that second set. All right, ready when you are. Square stance, hip hinge up. Good job. Very, very good movement. This is a great functional workout. Um, really kind of like the steeple of the foundation of strength, strength building. So we will build on this more and more every, every day. Miss Kaylin had just finished her fourth and final set of squats, and uh, during her break, I'll explain our next lift. So we're going to do the leg press. So when we do this leg press, she has a moderate amount of weight on here. We're going to do the exact same um, sets and reps, which is a four set of eight. Four sets of eight. So we're going to have place our feet uh, approximately shoulder width apart, and as we push off, we're going to take off these safety bars, like so. We want our back flat against this back support and right here when we bring when we come down we want our knees to be right around shoulders width apart all right we're going to pull our knees nice and tight to our chest for a count of eight pull them nice and tight right up straight down right up just like this all right let's see you try Nice and flat. Get a good foot placement on there. And good. Bring those knees nice and tight to your chest. Four more. those safety bars right back. All right, take a good two to three minute break. You'll really feel your legs starting to burn here. This is where, this is where that lactic acid is starting to build up. All right, this is Miss Caitlin's fourth and final set. All right, this is your last one, set of eight. Nice foot placement again. Whenever you're ready, move those safety bars. One, 
Alright, try not to use your hands, right? Here. Just use all quads and hamstrings. Two. Good. Breathe. Good job. Don't forget to breathe. Good. Five. Push yourself. Six. Seven. One more. One more. Push hard. Good job. Put the safety racks on. Good job. All right. Now, Waukesa is taking a little break here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. It wasn't. That was just battery. All right. Kaylin just now finished up her fourth and final set of leg presses. So she's uh, still catching up about 10, 15 more minutes on her, uh, her seconds on her break. But as she's doing that, I'll explain this next lift. So what we're doing here, we have dumbbells in our hands, all right? And we're gonna do 20 minute, or 20 meter lunges, excuse me. 20 meter lunges down and back is one set. We're only doing it for a set of two, all right? So right here again, it's very important. It's every, all the movement and bending is at the hips. So like so, one foot at a time, nice walking lunges. Keep that spine nice and straight, all the way down, all the way back. All right, Let's see what you got. Done. Now, once again, this is really gonna. She's really gonna feel this in her legs. She's really utilizing her glutes, her hamstrings as she's thrusting herself up. She's really pushing off that leg. Good job. All right, all the way back. This 20 meters really gets those muscles burning, and uh, she'll get a nice three-minute break as soon as she gets back. Good job, very good. Those dumbbells in hand make it just a, a, a little heavier on herself to get that really a resistance training right there as well as she's kind of using her grip as well. And wrestling is very important as a grip and her shoulders are stabilizing that weight as well. You're using that core muscles to stay erect. Very good job. All right, and now she is finishing up her final set of a 20 meter lunge. So the, I'll explain the next workout we're gonna do is gonna be hip thrusters. So we have a bar placed right over here where she's gonna hold that bar right across her waist and really isolate her glutes. Uh, it's really gonna help with a, a full body workout. Um, really kind of. All right, so Caitlin has successfully hit four sets of eight on squat using about 60% of her max as well as 60% of her Max on leg press, she also hit four sets of eight there. And we had two 20 meter down and back lunges with dumbbells in our hand. So the fourth exercise we are doing today, we're gonna do a three set of eight with hip thrusters. Uh, to follow that up, we're gonna end with her fifth exercise of calf raises. So I'll demonstrate right here with the hip thrusters. Uh, and that, this is really, like I said earlier, it's gonna isolate your glutes. Uh, you're using your hamstrings and you're really practicing on your, uh, your power, the power in your hips. So we have a 45 pound uh, bar right here. We're gonna place it in the crease of our hips as we kind of work our way down. I slightly like to rest, stabilize myself, resting my elbows on this, on the bench, and then I'm gonna bring my feet out just about parallel so when I hip up and squeeze with my glutes, and I like to hold it for about a second, my feet will be in a, a 90 degree angle, my knee. So I squeeze right here, go all the way back down, all the way up, and squeeze my glutes, all the way back down, all the way up, squeeze your glutes, all the way back down. So that's, that's the, the hip thruster, that's what it consists of, and it's really isolate your glutes and your hamstrings. in the crease of your hip. Right. Work your way down a little bit. Very good. All right, all the way down, up.
squeeze with your glutes. You want to really feel this. Two. Good job. A nice little pause at the top. Really isolate that. That muscle. Four. Good job. one to three minute break to kind of catch your breath, work up that energy back again. Four. All right, and Caitlin is on her last and final set right here, hip thrusters. She had accomplished, a, this is her third set of eight. So you know it's a pretty good workout when you see their legs starting to tremble a little bit. That's, that's uh, really building that lactic, lactic acid in there. And of eight. All right, and once again, that really isolates those glutes. You feel it. So again, that was Caitlin's fourth uh, exercise today. We started out with squats. She had a total of four sets of eight squats. We had four sets of eight leg press. She did two 20 meter down and back lunge, lunges with dumbbells in her hand. And uh, the hip thrusts were a set of three, or three sets of eight. So her fifth and final exercise for legs today is we're gonna work out those calves. So the way we like to do calves here, we like to do it in three different, uh, we like to isolate three different muscles of calf, or three different calf muscles, excuse me. Uh, so she's gonna use this straight bar right here and get under just as she did earlier with the squat, a nice stiff erect back, step backwards a little bit. And you can see it in our video, we have a plate right here. So we're gonna use that as a platform to elevate our toes. We are putting our toes on the, just on the tip of that uh, platform right there. And we're for our first set is going to be our toes facing forward, and all we're knocking out is 10, 10 calf raises. One, all the way up, two, three, and once she knocks out 10 calf raises, what we're going to do then, we're going to change, change the way we point our toes. Now our toes are pointing outward, left and right. This helps isolate the inner calf muscle right here. So again, stiff back. So she's gonna knock out 10 of those variations of calf raises. And then the third variation, we're gonna point our toes inward. As she points her toes in, exact same amount of repetition, 10. And you really wanna to try to get the top of your toes all the way, really flex those calves. All right, so that's gonna be a set of 10 right there. So Three variations, 10, 10, 10. So that makes one set of 30. And we are gonna knock out three sets of these total. So get right under that bar, stick back. And the first variation, toes pointing forward. Very good. You see the definition of her calves, just really protruding right here. And once again, that's gonna isolate your different muscles in your calf to really get it that full feeling, that full look. Very good. Very, very well. And this is that fifth and final workout. She has already moved to the to the second variation with her toes pointing outward. Catch your balance. Good job. And this is your third variation of calf raises. Her toes are now pointing inward. They're both pointing at the camera. You see how that really uh, isolates that calf muscle. Almost there. <laughs> no, literally. All right, and this is her third and final set and last variation right here. Feeling the burn in the calves. Very good, very good. Toes are pointed in. Really getting that nice round shape to them calves.
we're going to start that cool down immediately. How do you like failure? It's burning. <laughs> what, where do you feel it? I mean, I guess currently right now in your calves, but yeah. how do your ham, hamstrings feel? Hamstrings and quads. Uh, that's what we like to hear. So you can just, uh, we're going to start with the cool down. Uh, take, take a few minutes to walk around. Try to let that uh, oxygen back in your body really circulate that blood. Once again, like I said earlier, helps that lactic acid build up and, and replenishing oxygen and uh, nutrients in your body. And as she's uh, continuing to walk right now, like I said, we're going to start off with a uh, walk for a cool down. And then we're going to hit some stretches. Really, really isolate those legs and do some static stretches to help with soreness later in recovery. So the first one we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, do a quad stretch. Hold her leg behind her, uh, her body first and really, really uh, stretch out that, that hand or that quad. As soon as we're done stretching out that quad, we're going to hold each exercise for about 20 to 30 seconds and after isolating that uh, quad step we're gonna hit that hamstring and do a, a modified hurdle stretch so we're gonna begin that here in just a second all right Kaylin has just now finished her, her cool down walk and the first exercise we're gonna do or the first static stretch we're gonna do is uh, just stretching out this quad I just explained it earlier I like to you can use something to help balance yourself if you, if you need to and uh, we're just gonna pull that foot right back and really feel that quadricep stretching out. All right, these are all about 20 second holds we're doing right here. And as soon as she's done with uh, her right leg, she's gonna move over to her left leg. All right, this is once again, this is gonna help with soreness, muscle recovery, and uh, just overall not, not be as stiff and yucky in the morning. So as soon as she's done with both legs, I'll kind of uh, talk about it and we'll go into that second exercise. We're going to isolate and stretch out our hamstring. So this is a, this is a modified hurdle stretch. Uh, a lot of people like putting their knee behind them and that, that can really strain and uh, possibly injure your knee. So the modified hurdle stretch is bending one leg in to the inside of your thigh while you're stretching, keeping this leg nice and flat to the ground and you're trying to reach for your toes. You're reaching for your toes and you're isolating one leg at a time. Again, I, I kind of feel this in my calf all the way up to my hamstring. So that'll be our first stretch. It's just really isolating that single leg right there, stretching it, holding it for a solid 20 seconds. And we have a clock right here that can help us with that time as well as my watch. So, and as soon as she's done with that, do the exact same thing to the opposite leg. Bring that other leg in nice and tight to the inner leg. Point your toe to the ceiling, reach, and once again, we don't want to arch our back or, or bend our back very much. We're still going to try to have an erect spine and just really reach. It's more of that stretch and that motion uh, that we're wanting to instead of just really grabbing that toe. And as soon as she's done with that hamstring stretch right there, we're going to move into a, a, a groin stretch. So this is going to help the insides of your groin. And that's going to be, and again, that, uh, that groin stretch, similar to a scorpion, when you just kind of stretch your lower back and everything like this, but I like hiking one leg up at a time. So we can start with our left leg up, right out to the side, and our other opposing leg all the way back. And you really feel it in the crease of your groin, like I was explaining. Nice hips down to the mat. Nice chest, big chest, all the way right there. We want to hold this for about 20 seconds to really get that stretch. And again, once she's done holding that for about 20 seconds, we're going to switch. Our right knee is going to go up, nice and tight. Our left foot is going to go all the way back. Keep that big chest up and really put your hips down to the mat all the way and you'll feel it right there in the inner groin. All right, we're going to hold that for about 20 seconds. And then the final exercise, or the final stretch, static stretch we're going to do, the butterfly. So again, we've been talking about uh, the hip hinge and keeping it right back the whole entire time. It's really, it's really important to make sure you take care of your back. So when we do this butterfly, a lot of people have a, a tendency to lean and arch that back. What we want to do is keep our feet planted together. And I like to pull them in nice and tight as they can go. But I, I keep my chest up. And with a lot of uh, 
a lot of athletes, what I tend to do is they'll put their back against the wall. This can really help your back support and really make sure you're, you're keeping that spine erect. So pull your feet in nice and tight. If you can, you can push down with your elbows and hold this for about 20 seconds. Nice and tight. And again, you feel that in your inner thighs right here, all the way up to your groin. stretch that was our final exercise of the day so that is how a strength um, off season would go right here for our women's program here at our school and we, we build on this um, all year round so from squats to hang cleans to power cleans to deadlifts it's all gonna we're all gonna use the same movements we're gonna get into more functional movements uh, throughout the year using the hip hinge and maintaining a, a straight uh, flat back so how do your legs feel today Feel good, feel nice and tight? Yeah, real tight. All right, and again. All right, well that, that concludes our workout again. And uh, we're so proud of Kaylin. Like I said, this is the first year it's ever been a sanctioned sport at wrestling in the state of Arkansas for women. And uh, she, she's a pioneer of that. And uh, this, this program really is gonna help build overall fitness. That, that's the whole concept of this. So you can really use, utilize it for, for football, basketball, um, and just variate, uh, give very different, variations of different moves, but that work out uh, the, the same muscle groups. So, thank you. Uh,